Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, a lot of progress with this case. Uh, Biomet 3i fractured screw out. Now we're re-tapping with just a normal uh, impression coping screw. And what I'm doing is um, um, cleaning the threads, part B. So we, we did a, a nice job um, just just with uh, cleaning methods that I went over earlier. Now we're feeling the threads and uh, the first time you go in there uh, you can feel there's a little obstruction not quite going all the way through so there's something binding in there. You really want to be able to get the threads completely down through there so there is there's some blockage of some type of blockage so we don't want to uh, commit to uh, going any further than that. That might be the the bottom, but let's see. We'll measure the depth. I'm going to rinse that out. It could be filings in there. We're going to pre-soak that again. I'll micro suction that out. Before we weren't able to identify threads at all. Now we're, now we're actually threading through, but there may be some issues further down and that we can't see, so we're going to pre soak them. Ah, I can see something down in there. So that might be tartar that's blocking it. So pre soak. I'll let that soak again. And I might just leave that in there as a lubricant. Um, we do have a retapper. That's a little bit beyond. Okay, suction that. Continue to suction that. And then we'll give it another try. We'll rinse that out. Could have caught it on the way back out. Huh? Okay, uh, let's, I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to leave the water in there. I'm going to just leave it as a lubricant. Let's check the threads on our screw let's, before we go back in there. Let's make sure there's nothing wrong. Uh, there might be some things on this right here, so let's dry this off. Absolutely. So we're going to get rid of this screw because it picked up some of the tartar in there. We're going to get another screw. Next one. Uh, no, same one. Same one. Um, yep. Yep. Let's get the next size. Okay. Same. Okay. Hold that one. All right. Let's see. Let me have a um, a bristle brush and a straight attachment. All right. Almost there. I'm gonna get one more to try in here. Let's try this one. Otherwise, I'll clean my threads, uh, my other screw with the bristle brush. So there we are again. Uh, this one's a little too small in diameter. We need something a little better than that. So we'll try this one. Just a little bit over. Yeah, this one's a little too big. Too big diameter on that one, so we'll go back to the original. There it is. Nope. We'll clean this off. Okay, now we got pristine threads clean from any bio burden back in there. 
Let's see if we bottom this out. So I always turn in a counter rotational and, and just jiggle it until it bypasses. And it did. Looks like we are pretty good. Yep. That's about as far as it's going. And we're going to measure the length of that. I have a hunch it should go just a little bit more, but I'm, that might be it. So we'll measure this. So it's at least down to the first thread of the screw itself. That's on there. You can probably tighten that down. All right, so I'm going to measure the length with a perio probe. And um, the length of the screws, we're looking at three millimeters in length. And we'll rinse that in peroxide. I'm going to measure the depth. And it's three, six. Yeah. So we could afford to go a little bit further down. Microsuction. And there's some obstruction down in there. Yeah. There's still stuff in there. This is all right. Okay, that's fine. We'll put that there. Yep. Thank you. Now this is a a little device that will help. Um, See if we can just slide that gently in there. This helps to clean the threads. Oh. No, we're just cleaning. Okay. All right. We'll rinse that out. And suction that out. Okay. New cotton roll. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there in just a few minutes. Alrighty. Get my screw back. Okay, so we got at least three millimeters. That's a lot. I mean, that's he can torque it down a little bit more and get a good result. So now um, this is an external hex. So we got a little different different uh, type. I wasn't expecting. I was expecting an internal hex, and actually, it's an external. So this is a Branamark or a in an earlier type. So, what do we do? We find something that's going to fit on top. Um, let me get what I need to have out next. And there we are. Hopefully this will do the trick. If not, Perhaps a little Teflon, or we just leave it open. Let's see. All right. OK. 
Okay. Go back in with our threader again. Tightens to a certain point, and that's it. It engages really well, so that's that's good. I think um, I think we got to be really happy our result today. Let's see if I can put a healing abutment. I only have one of these available. Let's see. Uh, that's, this is an external hex, not an internal. This is a little too big of a of a thread. That's a different thread shape. So let's see if there's anything else I can put in there that would help the cause. Even if we left the screw in there, it'd be fine. All right, we will put something in there. I'm just going to go offline here. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo again. Another successful case. Just want to put something in there to protect our our. Uh,